Welcome one and welcome all. <laughs> to a no judgment zone, okay? This had to be removed from the scene of the crime immediately. But my beautiful alocasias that I purchased from Lowe's has spider mites all over them. And I will tell you how I'm going to take care of it. I'm going to show you what they look like and how they came about. But you got to stay tuned. You got to. <laughs> Welcome back to a no judgment zone. So normally this is where I have my plant stand. And I did have these two beautiful Phalaenopsis orchids right here that was alongside with the spider mice. But I have not seen any, you know, known ailments to go wrong with my Phalaenopsis orchids, okay? Including this one over here. They have been doing just fine. So I had removed them first and set them aside for three days to make sure that I was not See, making sure they did not come from these plants because these are the new Valentine's Day plants. So the allocations has been over here forever. Okay, it's been over here forever. So let me show you what they look like. But everything else over here, all of my plants, they seem to be doing just fine and OTD free. Orchid transmitted diseases. Okay, Welcome on back. Please like this video because every video does not have to be a long video, okay? Do you see all of the webbing throughout of the plant? Now, what was the dead giveaway is the allocations, they began to die drastically. They had been doing fine all of this time. So my allocations, fam pals, they had just dropped like this instantly. And um, they turned yellow, such as that one right there, and then they just got worse and worse. So, how I'm going to actually treat this is have my husband throw this out of the home. It gets to go. They are under the leaves. They are under the leaves. Welcome on back. Please, please, please like this video because I am over here petrified. I have a phobia of bugs. So, girl, I don't know if this is spreaded throughout my home. I don't know if it's in my furniture. I don't know. But um, what I am going to do my best to save this um, plant right here, a pothos and a Maria plant, is spray it down with some of this Captain Jack's dead bugs. Okay? I don't want to get the... the um, spider mites going but i'm just giving you an example i'm gonna spray it down real good like that and then i'm gonna sit it to the side for a couple of days just to make sure you know before i water it or anything because those bugs they are really smart every time i shine the light on them they get to running they get to running and hiding so these are not you know stupid bugs well, Val Pels, I hope that this gave you some type of awareness of what to look out of for bugs growing in your home. Like this video and always have a happy growing. Until